Hi everyone, Country Joe here. This is uh, the first video of the third Alma and Jupiter Bay Railway. We're looking here where the turntable is going to go. It's going to go right here. Roundhouse right here. There's room to fit a six-floor roundhouse. Running New York Central today. There's a uh, New York Central passenger train. Precision craft E7s and Cotto six-car passenger set. These two locomotives are going to become Alma and Jupiter Bay locs. You can see right here. Normal running is right hand, so train normally be running this way. Could take the crossover, take the switch into the yard lead. Come around. There's a passing siding so the train can run around if it's coming from the other direction to get into the engine terminal. Six track yard. I think there's 34 cars in there at the moment and one switcher. You can see the track curves around. This is 30 inches wide. Double cross over there, so a train coming. Oops, almost dropped the camera. Running right-handed here. You can take the double cross over to the outside track. Uh, got it backwards. A train running out of the yard here would be on the wrong track, would be on the left-hand track. Could take the double cross over and get onto the right-hand track. We've got a freight train running. 10 wheeler on the short freight. A train running out this way. Out of the yard would take the double cross over to the right hand. You can see here is a spur track. I don't have a bumper for it yet. That's going to be a stockyard. I have the kit to build. I'm going to come around here, take the um, take the grade up. You can see the pin in the back. We get the passenger train coming through. switching area in the front, which I added a pass inside and to put spurs off in different directions, gives the ability to run around. The back is the grade. The blind is painted the same as the wood color. It's Benjamin Moore Harbor Haze. It's a hazy blue color to give kind of a sky background. You can see when you run up the grade, around the curve, over the bridge, switching area down here, one, two, three, four, five spurs right here, we can follow the passenger train coming up. around the rest of the layout. It's, around, it's over a two minute run to get all the way around here at speeds like this. Passenger and freight trains meeting each other over the bridge. We come into this area. This spur here is a long spur. I've started putting some supports in just to expand this by a couple inches, enough to locate some industries along this track. Downgrade. This side is going to be the mine. Coal mine, as you can see. 
Okay, so you're training in the back. That might be a cut, might be a mount, might be a tunnel. Not entirely sure at this point. Just beginning. A road will run through there. This area here is going to be a town. You can see the old river section from the old, the second A of JB. There was no way to orient it properly and save it. If I tried to, to take it apart and save it, it wouldn't work. So I'll have the joy of building some new water feature. And you can see as we're completing the circuit, passenger and freight train meet again back at the engine terminal. So that's where the layout is. Wiring was finished yesterday. Got things running. It's been a happy day. First time I've had trains running in a few months. You know, other than going to the club and stuff, but actually at home, my own trains. So it was, uh, it was a good day. And that's the update for, what is today, January 3rd. A snowy, bitter cold day here in the Hudson Valley. Take care, guys. Talk to you soon.